Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I've been meaning to get this get ready with me up for ages but I was kind of apprehensive on putting it up because the lighting was just so like not cooperating with me because I was using natural light but if you guys want to see this get ready with me of how I did my hair, my makeup and my outfit then you guys know what to do. Make sure you subscribe for more videos and yeah let's get on with the tutorial. So I'm first starting off with skincare and using my Mario Badescu Facial Mist and I'm spraying that all over my face before going in with my Bobbi Brown Face Base and I love this cream underneath my full face of glam because it keeps me hydrated all day and my foundation sits so well on top of it. Then I moved on to eye cream and I'm using this one here which is the Liz L Super Skin Eye Cream and again this helps my concealer sit really well on top of my eye under eyes, <laughs> um, but I find that the face cream and this eye cream work really well together as well. So I'm letting that sit on my face for about five to 10 minutes before going on to primer. I'm using the Step One Skin Equalizer Primer. It's the smoothing one from Makeup Forever. So I'm dotting that kind of on my T-zone and cheeks of my face. And then I'm slowly kind of like spreading that on top of my skin to help fill in any pores and really smooth out the skin. Now for foundation, I used a mixture of two foundations. I used the Urban Decay All Nighter Mixed in with some of the MAC face and body. Face and body is like a ride or die foundation for me. I absolutely love it but I am really obsessed still with this Urban Decay one. So I'm mixing them together to give me the desired coverage and finish that I want. So I'm dotting that all over my face and then blending it all away with my damp beauty blender. Because I needed this makeup to last me all night and day, I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I'm spraying that all over my face and then pressing it in as well using that same damp beauty blender. And this is just gonna lock everything in place and it's not gonna budge with all like the dancing and everything for the reception after the wedding. Next I'm going and I'm correcting my under eyes. I'm using the Giorgio Armani Peach Corrector. This is so beautiful, I absolutely love it. Um, and I'm putting that underneath my eyes and again blending that out with my damp beauty blender. I actually love using my high-end makeup for like events like this because I don't know it just feels a little bit more special if you know what I mean. So moving on to concealer I'm taking the Naked Skin Concealer and I'm putting that in the usual places of my face. Not only do I conceal but I also like to highlight. So I'm putting a kind of weird triangle shape underneath my eyes. I'm putting a circle on my forehead bringing that straight down the bridge of my nose on my chin and also on my mouth like you can see here. And this is just gonna add dimension back to the face because if not, the face is just all gonna be one color. And to me, I don't really like that look. So I'm just going ahead and blending all of that away as well with my damp beauty blender. And guys, I've tried using like buffing brushes and all sorts, but I always go back to my beauty blender. I just love the finish it gives. So yeah, just making sure everything is really nice and blended away and that there are no weird lines going on on my face. And then I'm taking my Tatcha lip balm, which I'm still again obsessed over, and I'm putting a whole load of this onto my lips so that they're nice and prepped before applying my lipstick towards the end. This is the Becca Low Light kind of sculpting cream. Um, again, I absolutely love this and I'm just going ahead and sculpting my face up. In other words, I'm just contouring. So I'm just contouring my cheeks, my hairline, my jawline as well. And this blends so, so, so nicely into the skin. I absolutely love like the light kind of feel of it. Um, and I'm also contouring my nose and my lips a little bit as well. Now I'm taking this Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer and I'm slightly just setting that all in place so that it doesn't move and that it's just gonna last a lot longer throughout the day. The lighting was so bad in this room and even in this video, I'm really sorry about it, but I do go ahead and add more product as this video goes on. Now I'm taking my Kick Ass Soap and Glory Powder and first I'm just getting rid of any kind of lines that may have happened um, from the concealer and I'm just setting all of that in place. And I've been making sure that I do both of my cream contouring and highlighting first and then setting with powders at the same time so that the powders and creams don't get mixed into each other. Um, so once I am done with setting my face, um, my base is pretty much done um, for the time being and I'm moving on to eyes. I'm taking my Benefit Air Patrol and I'm putting this all over my eyelids. And this is just gonna make sure, again, as always, that our eyeshadow lasts all night long and that it doesn't crease as well. I'm just setting it again with the Kick Ass Soap and Glory Powder just so that it makes the eyeshadows easier to blend. I'm taking the Kat Von D shade and light eye palette and I'm taking this shade here first to highlight my brow bone. It's not too shimmery, it's not too matte, it's actually a really, really beautiful shade. 
Then I'm taking this contour shade right here and I'm going in and adding that to the crease of my eyes. I wanted my eyes to be really matte because I knew I was going to go in with kind of like a statement eyeliner. So that's why we're going for like a nice matte kind of eye and I'm making sure both eyes are looking as similar as possible. And then I decided to take this slightly warmer brown right here and I'm applying that into the crease as well just to give it more dimension and so that it's not too gray looking. And then before I finished the eyeshadow off, I did apply some to the outer corners as well, just to make sure that my actual eyeball was looking nice and rounded. Then off camera, I did my brows and I'm just setting them here in place using the Benefit brow gel and I love it. Now for eyeliner, I'm taking this really bright blue eyeliner by NYX and I am creating not only just like a normal eyeliner, but also a really nice standout wing. So I'm really slowly building up the wing and then thickening up the eyeliner itself. I will leave a link to my full kind of winged eyeliner tutorial below. Um, and yeah, I'm just making sure both of my eyes are looking as similar as possible. And once that was done, I took my Maybelline Master Ink Matte Black Eyeliner and I'm basically creating like an ombre eyeliner. So I'm covering almost just a little bit over half of the eyeliner starting from the inner corner out and it doesn't matter if you see like a massive difference between the two colors because we're going to go over that with a glitter so the glitter i used is this one here by nyx as well and i'm basically applying that exactly where the two colors meet and this gives it a really kind of like neat and ombre effect but it also kind of hides any mistakes that you've made and it adds the slightest bit of glitter um, without it being like too much and in your face and now I'm taking my Urban Decay Perversion eyeliner. You guys know how much I love this eyeliner and I am tight lining my upper waterline before going ahead and adding some mascara. So here I'm using the L'Oreal Paris False Lash Sculpt Mascara. Again, I feel like I've just not been able to put this mascara down. This is like becoming my ride or die mascara. I really love the way that this makes my eyelashes look. Um, and yeah, I'm also adding this to my lower lashes as well. This does amazing things to your lower lashes. So once that was done, I realized that the lighting was just so bad in this room and I'm going in and adding more product to my face. So here I'm taking the Kevin Aquan Sculpt Powder and I'm just going over the areas where we contoured really, really slightly, nothing too much. Um, I always like using like least amount of product and then building up because it just means I have more control over what my makeup is going to look like at the end of the whole look. Here I'm just going over my nose contour and blending it all out, making sure it's nice and seamless. And then I decided to go in with a little bit of more bronzer. Here I'm using the Urban Decay Breach, Breach? <laughs> Beach Bronzer. And I'm just going over the areas that I just wanted to bring some like warmth back into the face because I felt like it was looking too cool toned, if you know what I mean. For blush, I used a mixture of these two colors from the Jaclyn Hill and Becca face palette and I love that it was just like a hint of color mixed in with a bit of bronze I really really liked it for highlight I went in with this cream highlighting stick from Marc Jacobs I don't know why I used a brush for this this looks so much better with your fingers um, but yeah I'm just applying this on to the tops of my cheeks and it gives a really beautiful glow you can't really see it in this lighting so sorry but um, I am adding a little bit to my nose bridge of my nose, nose, <laughs> my bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow. And then I'm taking Max Soft and Gentle and applying that on top. I like this highlighter swatched, but I feel like on my skin, it just looks too chunky. So um, yeah, I had to go and fix that and make sure that everything was uh, proportionate and yeah. So um, I'm just adding a little bit more bronzer and then I am setting the rest of my face using this Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation. This is a powder foundation, but I love using this as a setting powder. And it just adds that extra kind of like coverage to your skin, but it also helps your makeup last longer as well. You can use this as a foundation, but I personally just love using it on top of like glam makeup, if you know what I mean. I'm adding a little bit more of that same kind of um, crease shade into my crease because I feel like once you've got your mascara and eyeliner on, it can look a little bit different and yeah, you might wanna add some things to it. So I'm taking this shade right here and I am applying that to my lower lash line and this is just gonna balance the top and bottom part of our eyes out. And then I'm going in with some of this ColourPop gel eyeliner. I believe this is called Mr. Bing or Mr. Bling. I'm not too sure which one, but I think it's the one from the Kathleen Lights collection. 
And next up is time for some dewiness. So I'm taking my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, which I am almost over. I can't believe I've almost finished this already. I absolutely love it. I'm applying it to the areas where I've highlighted and then going over the top with the Beauty Blender, just so that it's getting rid of any kind of powderiness. Next up, I straightened my hair. I went with straight hair, something simple. I didn't want to go too out with a hairstyle because I didn't really have much time in the mornings as always. And then I applied some mascara and falsies again to join up the Ardell Demi Wispies to my natural lashes. And for lips, I'm taking Max Saw Lip Liner. So I'm lining my lips and then I'm also filling them in and this is gonna help our lipstick last a lot longer. For lipstick, I used the Kylie Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ginger. It's such a beautiful kind of warm brownie orange tone. It was really, really nice, but I felt like it was too much with the blue lipstick. So lipstick, I mean blue eyeliner. So I added a bit of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Abu Dhabi, and this just kind of cooled it up a little bit. And I really like this combination, actually. It's kind of like bold but not too bold so it worked really well with the rest of the makeup last makeup step was to set all my makeup in place so i'm using the urban decay all nighter makeup setting spray and spraying that all over my face and letting that dry i then got my dress on and i'm putting my earrings on these are actually earrings from an indian shop they are such beautiful studs that i was like i'm going to wear them <laughs> um and then for bracelets i wore my positivity bracelets i will leave a link to them in the info box below and for perfume i went with my signature supreme bouquet by ysl absolutely love this scent if you're near a ysl counter then definitely check this out and that you guys is the end of this makeup and get ready with me i really do hope you guys loved the makeup look i'm really sorry again about the lighting but i really wanted to show you this ombre eyeliner and what i wore to a wedding and yeah this is the dress it's from asos i'm in love with this color that's why i went for the eyeliner because i wanted it to kind of match and then my bag is from ysl so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i guess that's all for now and i will see you all in my next one bye